Greetings fellow humans, Bat Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today we're going to take a look at a familiar board but a new revision of it. It looks like CIY has been doing some new revisions to both their Tester 68 which basically became or runaway budget hit in the last year uh, being of how cheap it is and how well it can be made to sound and how well it actually sounds stock along with their Tester 84. Now the Tester 84, when it first came out, it had a silver and a more grayish aluminum frame. Now we've got the blue one. Now I have to admit I had already opened this one to take a look at it. It does come with this new keycap puller, which is also in the newer revisions of the Tester 68. I'm quickly falling in love with this uh, switch puller. I haven't really used it as a keycap puller. Um, but for, uh, actually this is a sign for pulling out switches. Um, it grabs onto the clips as long as you make sure you're centered. It works well and you don't have to worry about scratching any of the paint off the plate. Um, so I, I gotta give props. CIY is definitely, um, they've got some really interesting keyboards um, in the pipelines and I'm going to be excited to uh, review those as they come along but for right now I just wanted to take a quick look and we're going to go ahead and do a stock sound test of the Tester 84. Now along with it um, unfortunately this one did not come with a uh, dust cover as did the uh, new Tester 68. It does come with a decent USB-C to USB-A cable and instructions for all the light controls and as I mentioned in the other video um, CIY does have a 12 month warranty you can contact them through their website CIY.LTD and if you have any issues I have it as of yet so I haven't needed to contact them but anyway this is the tester 84 in blue now that's one thing about the original tester which I have one Oh, I just so happen to have one right here. Uh, now this one has been fully modded, and as you can see, it has that silver frame, but then it's white at the bottom. So there's definitely, you know, that change in color. I mean, it's not bad, and this is a modded one, so sounds pretty good. I do have a sound test for that one in my videos, but this one blends very nicely now the blues aren't exactly the same but they're close enough that i mean you're really just not going to be able to tell that bevel that it has where the uh, plastic meets helps for that blend to happen um, and look a lot more natural that said the blues work together quite well i'm actually very um, surprised. It's funny because of the metal feel, it makes the entire keyboard just feel more premium. Um, the stabs that it comes with, oh, as as were with the Test 84, these don't need anything to help stay on the plate. They actually, they, they come pretty good right out of the box. Um, again, these are just the instructions for the lights. Let's go ahead and plop her down and just plug her in real quick. And as you can see, we have some pretty bright um, LEDs. I, I'm actually, I, I, I was not expecting much from the Tester 84 when I first got it, but then I was very pleasantly surprised. This is a really, especially if 84 is your preferred um, layout, I just, I can't argue that, I mean, for the price, what you're getting uh, with this keyboard, even if you don't do any mods, it's it's a great sounding keyboard. And I'm, I'm gonna show you that right now so what I'm gonna do is I've got these um, AE boards I I guess they've been around for a while I had not heard them this is the blues and they're tactiles they have a nice little snap to them uh, they're long pole they stick up a little bit past the uh, stem but um, they're uh, 
kind of got a block out for the light. I don't know. Some of these nylons let the light shine through or whatever, but I figured the blue actually almost perfectly matches. So I figured, why not? Um, now these do come in packs of 40, so I think I'm gonna be a couple of keys shy. And for that, I'm gonna just use some uh, Akko blue uh, that I've got some left over from another build um, to make up probably just for the column here on the side. So let me go ahead and load those up and then I'll, we'll pick some keycaps and put them in, all right? I just wanted to point something out that I just noticed. Um, they actually have, uh, it's either a sheet or pre-installed stickers. I'm gonna guess it's probably a sheet, but it looks like a PE foam or an EVA foam sheet. I noticed that right before to put the, I was gonna go put the switches in and you can kind of see where it kind of overlaps on certain spots. Let's see if it'll zoom in if I get this up close. I'm getting a new camera soon, so. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that pour on layer, or, PE phone, whatever layer it is, to give it that pop. That was not on the original tester. So they've, they've definitely um, done a revision. So let's go ahead and get these uh, AE board tactiles and Navy, Navy tactiles, I think they're called. All right. All right, here we've got, this is a, some Ace SA profile keycaps. Uh, they're double shots. They're part of a um, 478 key set. Yes, I know, it's a lot of keys. Um, go ahead and plug you so you're not making a mess while I'm popping in some keys. But uh, let's go ahead and load her up. Basically, these are, um, See, they're not completely double shot because the body kind of ends, but um, the legends aren't going anywhere. I actually like these. These are kind of somewhere in the middle uh, between MT3 and SA. But if you like older school retro keycap sets, I forgot. I want to say it's some GSN is the brand, but um, if you search for 478, uh, SA profile on, on Alley or even eBay um, and it runs for anywhere between 50 and 70 depending on what time of the year you catch it or I don't know I've seen it as low as like 48 at the slowest so um, 10 cents a key pretty good buy so let's go ahead and load these up and then we'll do a stock sound test I've been all about color matching lately. I just, I gotta say, um, the blue, I mean, though not exact, I think uh, looks really, really good on here. I'm really digging it. I, I am so glad that they did a blue on the bottom as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave this video and close it off with a sa stock sound test of this Tester 84 using the AD board Navy tactile switches. Um, as you saw, these four are the Akka, so I'll just leave those alone. But I mean, if you want to get a comparison, 
That's the Aka. That's the AE board tactile. So, slight difference there. Anyway, I'll go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of the stock Tester 84. And um, I just want to wish everybody peace and love. And until next time, keep calm and keyboard on. Just as a quick addendum, um, a lot of times on these uh, taller keycaps, the space bar is just so hollow, and especially these because they're not walled all the way in. Um, it just it can make the stabs not sound as good. And it takes away from what sound or not sound the stabs may be making. So despite this being stock, I did want to add that I added just a s couple little pieces. This is um, uh, Noiko. It's the generic carb butyl, butyl rubber. Um, so I just added one layer in there in order to remove that hollowness and so that you can actually hear the stamps. So I just wanted to say it's stock, but I did that too. I mean, being that these are, I wouldn't need to do it to like an Akko because their double shot is all the way down, but these, the double shot ends halfway through. So it really makes it hollow and it just doesn't sound that good. So just wanted to, leave you guys with that.